Hi guys, Josh back again today. Um, I wanted to go over and show you some uh, things that I got today and some alternate resources for prepping. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick overview here of what I've got. Um, one of my favorite places to go prepping is the local, uh, basically, savers. Um, ours is an epic thrift store. Um, there's In the city of Vegas, uh, there's a couple hundred thrift stores and I send stores and stuff. Um, as y'all know, uh, I do a lot of my prepping at the dollar stores um, and discount stores as much as possible. Um, the other place that I like to go is actually the big swap meet out um, in North Las Vegas. Uh, it's a hit and miss there, to be honest with you. And sometimes you get some really great stuff, other times you come up empty-handed and it, it's just a hit and miss thing. Today was a great day. Um, it was really dead out there and hot, so people didn't want to stay around, so they were selling stuff pretty cheap. Um, what I did get out there actually was this guy. This is one of those spy tech kids night vision infrared things. Um, it works fantastically. Uh, as you can see there, it actually is catching video on there. So it works really well. Um, I was really impressed with this. Uh, I had a friend of mine that told me about them, said so check it out. Um, and for $3 that I paid for it, they retail in the stores anywhere from 80 to 130 depending on which one you get. This one, it's missing the little front cap, and it was a little bit dirty when I found it, so I talked the chick down to three bucks, um, and it works fantastic. I mean, it, it's almost as clear, if not clearer, than my $300 night vision scope that I have. Um, so I have to say, it's really well worth the three bucks. Um, at a booth down the way, I ended up finding some military gear, actually this GI web belt thing. Um, this is actually a military issue. It has the US GI stamps on it, somewhere in here. Um, there you go. So it's got the U.S. tags on there. Um, it had a little accessory belt thing. I have no clue what this is for. Um, but it is an Alice web belt, which is nice. And it's the newer issue with the plastic buckle, so a little bit more convenient. Um, that same booth, I ended up getting an Alice canteen holder um, with a couple Alice clips on there. Once again, U.S. issue. Um, that same booth, I did find a uh, Coleman canteen, a military-style canteen. It's a little bit smaller than the normal military issue ones, but it does have a little belt clip on there. Needs to be washed. All that together was ten bucks. I actually love it. I'm sorry. Um, and I also found uh, with the night vision, I actually found this pair of binoculars. Once again, they were pretty dirty when I took them and I picked them up, so I got these for a buck. I talked the lady down to it. The nice thing about swap meets is you can talk people down. Um, don't be afraid to bargain with them and say, hey, listen, I got three bucks. This is only worth two. You know, I find this brand new for ten. And you'd be surprised. Most people are willing to negotiate with you. They'd rather sell it and get a three dollar item in their hand, out of their hand and three bucks in their pocket. So um, don't be afraid to negotiate or ask, hey, what's the best deal you can get on this? Um, but this, once again, was a dollar. These things are unbelievably sharp. Um, I also found this big pair. Um, this is a once again a ruby coated uh, set of binoculars. I picked these up for 15 bucks. The guy wanted 25. I talked him down to 15. Um, these are a 10 to 30 by 60 zoom. Um, these binoculars are fantastic. They're by Binolux. At 30 time magnification, they're not the greatest, uh, but they're really, really, really clear. Anywhere from 10 to about 22. So, um, for 15 bucks, I've seen these retail for $150, $200 for a pair like this, or close to them. Um, they have the tripod mount on them. So for 15 bucks, I'm not complaining on that. Now at the thrift store, what I found was really cool. This is a nurse's drug guide. This has all of the current medications as of 2007 that are available for sale. Um, it also has a digital guide that you can download onto your PDAs and smartphones. Um, I think, I didn't even count how many are in here. Uh, but anyways... It's a decent book. I paid five bucks for it. I know these retail in the stores for about seventy-five to eighty dollars on the cheap side. I did also find a stud finder, uh, a Stanley stud finder. This was like thirty bucks. I paid seven bucks for both of these. I got at the thrift store. Um, but like I said, it's a reason to go out and check out your local resources. You know, go to your swap meets, go to flea markets. Um, you never know what you're going to spend. So altogether, I think I spent let's see, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty, forty. 40 bucks and I got all of this great stuff. I've got night vision, I've got scopes, or um, binoculars, I'm sorry, I've got a drug book for my medical resources, and then I've also got some web gear as well. Um, and I did see a lot more military stuff out there today than I usually see out there. I saw a bunch of, you know, uh, Molly vests and stuff like that. They're a little overpriced, 
Um, but once again, if you find somebody that's willing to work with you on pricing, it's worth it. So definitely check out your local resources. Um, the other great place to look on is Craigslist. You know, just keep shopping. If there's something that you absolutely have to feel that you absolutely have to have for your prepping or your survival needs, you know, it's worthwhile to just take the time and look for it, and you might be able to save some money. And you know, in in this situation, I've saved several hundred dollars in one shopping trip, and I spent less than fifty bucks, and I got a ton of great stuff. I got night vision, two sets of binoculars, one for a camping set. I've got one for the house. Um, or for you know the, the truck or the boat, wherever you want to keep them. I've got some web gear, and I'm actually probably going to sell this stuff because I've got multiples of these now. So I can take my $10 or $11 that I spent on this stuff and turn it into $25 or $30 that I can then in turn go out and buy some more better prepping gear. So you know, just keep posting. Um, I'll definitely try to keep posting some more videos. I've been pretty busy recently with the new baby. Um, please don't forget to comment, rate, and I like to hear your suggestions and recommendations. And once again, guys, thanks for watching.